Hi everyone. My name is Linda Rashmal. Some of you may know me as El Harshmal from the class blogs. I have gleaned a lot of interesting and thought-provoking ideas from this class. Before taking this class, I hated using Twitter. It was the ultimate waste of time, in my opinion. Now, I use it as a professional collaboration tool and connect with other educators. Before I took this class, I saw the internet as a void. A wasted part of time and space, empty as the innards of a black hole, trying to suck all of my time from me in the classroom. Now, I have realized that I can work with it, and not against it in my classroom. I can engage my students in their education using the various social networking and creative tools such as Twitter, Blabberize or the one I'm using now called Extra Normal. This voice gets really annoying after a while. Don't you think so? But I digress. Being able to put something out there on Twitter and get almost immediate feedback and answers to questions is really cool. I have learned through my individual project that creating flip lessons can be as difficult or as easy as you make it. The more time you spend on them, the better they look and sound to your students. I have found a new way to reflect through blogging. It is a great way to share ideas and experiences with people in order to get feedback or another's professional opinion on subject matter. I will definitely keep blogging after this class is finished because I find I use it for individual professional development. It's the same with Twitter. Just because a school division has not put its rubber stamp on something to be PD doesn't mean that it's not PD. Being able to talk to others with a blog is almost like peer reviewing a critical reflection each time you make a post. Many other professionals with diverse experiences get to read how I think, and what I feel. This is a major asset to a new teacher like me, who might feel secluded and alone in his or her classroom. As an educator, I believe it is of the utmost importance that I never stop adapting my teaching methods. I refuse to be one of those teachers that Bill Gates in one of his TED Talks accuses of stopping their development after three years. Networking and social media will aid me with this continuous growth. Not only does technology impact how I teach, but it also impacts how my students learn. A virtually infinite amount of knowledge is literally at my students' fingertips. Why not allow them to use the tools that they have to access this information in my classroom? I have no problem with the use of cell phones in my classroom. The more people my students are connected with, the more knowledge is in my classroom. Because of this, learning becomes student-centered instead of teacher-centered. I understand that there are still limitations with how far I will be able to go with this. The school I am hired in has a strict no cell phone policy that is school-wide. I will have to be an advocate for change. One of the things that is bound to come up in my classroom is the use of copyrighted images. I need to make sure that my students see copying and pasting an image and claiming it as theirs, is just as bad as copying and pasting text and claiming it as theirs. I need to model how to find CC images and how to cite who made them for my students. This will help them greatly in their future studies. The Creative Commons is really one of the things that is going to stick with me for the rest of my teaching career. Before I took this class, I avoided using images that I found on the internet in my teaching because I did not know how to properly attribute them. Now that I do, I will use Creative Commons images all of the time in my teaching. I would like to thank everyone in this class including Professor Alec Coros for being such great collaborators and giving me feedback from day one. It has been a great final semester and you all have given me a lot to think about in my future career. Good luck to all of you in your future endeavors. <laughs>